Sometimes Mars offers up unexpected treasures that defy easy explanation, like this bright speckled rock that Perseverance discovered nearly four months ago. Now it's a rock with zebra stripes that begs the question, how did this form? On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance has arrived at the first officially designated science stop of the Jezero Crater Rim Campaign, referred to as Doc's Castle, named after a feature in the Grand Canyon of Arizona, it's a location thought to possibly contain exposed bedrock that could predate the crater impact event. But it's a stop on Sol 1266, four drives and almost 500 meters back, that deserves more attention. You wouldn't think so looking at the view from orbit or even from the ground. Here's Mars Guy for scale. This was the second leg of the return to form for Perseverance, in which it had resumed long drives after struggling up steep slopes covered in slippery sand and gravel. Here, the smooth bedrock of the margin unit provides much better traction. It's strewn with widely spaced cobbles and boulders that include one that's truly unique. It's got a blotchy appearance with two-toned darker and lighter areas. A higher resolution image from Mascam Z wasn't acquired until two saws later, on the morning Perseverance was scheduled to drive away. So this striking image was not seen until after Perseverance was long gone. Apparently no observations by the higher resolution Supercam were acquired, so this is all we've got. My first reaction was that this is another example of the equally remarkable rock observed in late May on an island of boulders in the middle of the Naretva Vallis River Channel. The light tone and salt and pepper speckled appearance of the rock dubbed Atoko Point are somewhat similar to the new rock, but in detail they're quite different. It's got much smaller dark spots that include the shapes of identifiable crystals, possibly hornblend, as I suggested in episode 165. The new rock has very irregular, elongated, dark, and light splotches of roughly equal size. This led to my second reaction that this looks a bit like granitic gneiss, which is a common metamorphic rock on Earth. The problem is Mars doesn't have plate tectonics like Earth, so the unimaginable forces that push continents around and squeeze and bend rocks like Plato aren't available on Mars to make metamorphic rocks like gneiss. And the glint or spark of oriented crystals in a gneiss, which apparently is the origin of this old German word, is not evident in the Mars rock. The drawn-out mineral bands in gneiss, known as foliation, give it a layered look that's different than in the Mars rock, which looks a bit like zebra stripes. Having not ever seen a rock with zebra stripes, I turned to the font of knowledge for guidance and received a gush of possibilities. Some are clearly not good candidates, but others have notable similarities to the Mars rock. One posted by the Colorado Springs Mineralogical Society really caught my eye. It's described as crystalline dolomite, which is really intriguing. Dolomite is a calcium and magnesium carbonate composition that at least trends toward the magnesium and iron carbonates found in the margin unit that dominates this part of Jezero Crater. Surprising to me is that zebra rock is popular for fish tanks. Maybe some of you already knew that. But there's also scientific interest with published papers that attempt to explain the unusual light and dark pattern of these rocks. Unfortunately, without additional information about the composition of the Mars zebra rock, which at this point would require backtracking more than 500 meters, we're probably not going to be able to say much more about how it formed. But at this point, we can at least say that it's probably not nice, which is not to say that it's mean. <laughs> 